Pennsylvania. This is Eyewitness News at 5.30. Good evening and thanks again for joining us. I'm Kelly Choate. Mark Hiller is off tonight. After years of planning and four months of construction, the first phase of a new Veterans Memorial in Scranton is complete. This weekend, a flag raising ceremony will be held at the new Scranton Veterans Memorial Park. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable is live in Scranton with all the details for us. Eric? Good evening. On Sunday, the American flag and the flag from each branch of the armed forces will go up here behind me for the very first time. Now, while phase one of this project is complete, phase two is now just getting underway. What used to be just a plot of grass outside Scranton High School is now becoming a place to honor and remember city residents who have died protecting their community. We planted the seed. This will grow. This will get done. We're hoping it gets done soon. In May, a group of veterans began construction on a new memorial. Phase one, which involved landscaping and putting in flagpoles, is now complete. The second phase, building a large granite memorial with the names of all of the city's fallen, is now kicking off. We need all, all types of donations, small donations, business donations, personal donations, and, and we need the elected officials. The monument itself will be 33 feet long and almost 7 feet high. It'll contain the names of more than 950 city residents who left for war and never came home, from World War I to the present. Organizers say they need to raise at least $225,000 for this part of the project. No matter what the cost that we pay, their cost was greater. Veterans spearheading the project say they could have placed a generic plaque at the memorial, but they insist that every person who gave their life deserves to have his or her name chiseled in black granite. We don't ask for anything for ourselves. We always say, well, let's not forget the guys who, uh, who died over there. Now, if you'd like to check out the progress here, the public is invited to Sunday's flag raising ceremony. It begins at noon. We're live tonight in Scranton. Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. It looks great. Thanks, Eric. And if you would like to make a donation to the second phase of the Memorial Project, you can send a check to the VFW Post 25 on Rockwell Avenue in Scranton. We have that full address posted on our website, vahomepage.com.